now that she's finished, her mama wants her to come back in a tin blade all over with just some cocker ears and a low crown. So we're going to take this opportunity to show you um, a couple of different things that you can do on your pet cockers in your salon. Um, even if you're not cutting them down from show coat, I just want to give you guys some, some options. And um, before anybody asks, this is a snood. It's 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 just material with um, elastic on each end. It keeps her little ears out of the way, and so she doesn't get them in her mouth. And we put it on her when she eats or when we're trying to keep her ears clean. Um, so one of the really cool ones that I like to do uh, on these guys, if if your customer wants a little bit of hair and they want it to really still look like a Cocker Spaniel, um, I take uh, one of my larger combs. This is an A comb and I'm just going to skim off. And what I do is I skim off the legs and then I leave the skirt. Um, Another option before I do this, if you wanted to do, uh, depending upon your client, if you wanted to do more like kind of an Asian fusion kind of thing, you could take your uh, short blade and take the whole skirt off and then just leave your legs longer. Well, that so would that would be really cute too, but I can't do that if I, if I start cutting, so I just want to show it to you because it's not, I don't want to take off the skirt for this particular thing because I want to show you how to make the skirt shorter and still make it look like a cocker. Um, and then also this back is still stripped. Um, but you could do, you know, you could do the back with a five or a four or a two comb to make it look more natural but not stripped. Or you can strip the back and then clipper the legs. So those are several different options you can do depending upon what your client wants. Um, but what I do is because this is the stuff that always mats where they move. What I do is I take my A comb and I just skim. So now you're still getting this kind of a cocker spaniel look, but it's shorter. And you can skim this as short as you want. And if you're interested in how to bevel the feet, we did that in the last video and I can't redo it. Um, but you can see that you can get more of a cocker look with this big fluffy leg. Just skimming the hair off. Turning this into more of an actual modified cocker trim. And then I don't take too much off of here because if we take too much off of here, that takes away from the cocker look, this part right here. And then what I do is I shorten that up from the bottom. So we're just going to do one side of the dog because if you're a groomer and you want to check out how to do this, one side's plenty. One side is plenty. And then we take this and we modify it. And we make this skirt short as we want okay so you can pull it up like that you can pull it all the way up here and make it straight so now your customer still has a cocker cut does that make sense customer still has a cocker cut but your leg is blended down and this is really floofy does that make sense to everybody? Does that make sense to you? Because you don't know how to groom. Does that make sense to you? So we've got a cocker cut with a modified look. If you have a client that's able to keep up with that. But, so when you I mean, I've had... Would you say that is on the line? Um, well, we'll find out. Probably down towards the bottom, you're still looking at anywhere from two to two and a half inches. They comb them and brush them, but you know those are those are your unicorn clients. This is for this is for your unicorn client that doesn't want all that hair hanging on the ground, but they still want it to look like a cocker. I'm holding this hair from the other side out of the way. 
and then you take and modify the front of this leg down here and just trim that in. And then shorten this up around the back of the hock. Skim it with your clippers and then trim it if you want to. There's lots of different ways to do this and still keep kind of a cockerish look. And then if you have those people that want a shorter skirt, take the whole skirt off. Instead of leaving it all long, you can make it more layered with your comb. Okay, so now I'm going to skim this front leg down a little further into a full-on suburban trim. Take it all the way down to the foot. Or you can press harder and make it shorter. Again, this is all about like making this better for your customer but still making it look like a cocker and we actually called and she's not used to having this done <laughs> she's like 18 months old and never been cut down before so you can imagine she's going to be a little fussy um but again you know you can you can trim all of this down good girl all the way around on the other hand And you can actually take the whole leg off. You don't want all this stuff to mat. And when I'm not using my clipper vac, I always end up cleaning everything up. So please don't, don't judge the rough cut. This is, this is simply an instructional thing to help you guys think of maybe some different things you can do for your clients, dogs in your pet store or your pet salon grooming salon whatever okay and that's still that's still a hand stripped back so it looks really cute and cockerish and of course we'll trim all this up and fix it but I want you guys to just see that idea and then we'll probably tighten the feet a little bit too So that way she doesn't have, because it does look a little bit big from being underneath all of that furry cocker hair. But as you can see, I'm really not taking a whole lot off of the foot, off of the feet because underneath there, that foot is really tight underneath all of that fuzz. Okay, so that just kind of gives you guys ideas. I know that kind of looks wonky, but I'm hoping you can we will. see our, our idea of how to do that. Okay, so Asian Fusion. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, really this is actually going to be super easy because all of this is already really long. So when you're doing that the Asian so fusion, um, you actually, normally you do the body really super duper tight. And since her mom wants her shaved down with a 10 anyway, we're going to go ahead and look for a 10 blade. And now it's just different clippers. There we go. This is a new 10 blade that just came on my new Andis, so. All right, so for Asian Fusion, the, the biggest thing is contrast. Um, you know, obviously your head is a cocker head because you'd have to change that up or leave it the way it is, but for an Asian Fusion body, you would actually be making this really super duper short and stop. Super short and stop for short and stop and then I think it's a chicken but let me go check okay all right so the idea is we're gonna make all of the whole body really short 
and the legs really long. So this is perfect for trying to do that. Now, granted, you're not going to always have clients that want this, but if you do have one, here's an option. This is super fun. This is really short. The whole body. She's been in season, so I'm being careful of her little swollen nipples under there. <laughs> that's what we're going. That's what's taking me a second, because I don't want to nip her. Okay. So Asian fusion is all about contrast. Okay. Now, you could leave the chest if you wanted to. It wouldn't be my preference because, again, they, that's where they mat is underneath here. So, my choice would be, my choice would be grab all of this leg hair and take the whole chest and everything out. And even into the armpits. If you think they're going to have trouble, take the armpit out. Nobody can see the armpit from outside. Right, baby? Right. So now you've saved all of that hair on the leg. But you're taking that whole chest out. Ignore this. Just look at this. Okay. Big, long legs. Really short, tight body. Nice. That's, that's the whole Asian fusion craze. And then obviously, like I used to have a client um, that wanted all this grown really long. And it just uh, looked like this huge toupee on top of the dog's top, no. head. So, if you're doing Asia Fusion, you could do that. You could grow all this out and leave it like this huge toupee on, toupee on top of their head and put a bow in it or something crazy. You could let the ears grow and get really fluffy. Um, and then you'd have like a, an Asian Fusion Cocker Spaniel. Um, so that would be kind of fun. That might even be something fun to do for a grooming competition. If you've got one, if you happen to be lucky enough to have one of these guys could borrow one for that uh, that potpourri class or I'm not sure what they call it anymore because it's been a while since I competed um, but that would be kind of fun <laughs> to do Asian fusion let the feet grow out really big so you have to trim them a lot um, and then let all this stuff get really furry and buzz it with a 10 um, I think that might be really cute <laughs> But anyway, so there's my kind of, there's another option. Especially if they get matted up in here, like if the owner does really good on the legs and then they get matted underneath and in their armpits and whatnot, you could, um, you could do this. That could be an option for you. Mary, Mary. Good girl.
we decided in the midst of all of this that another option would be to leave them like a Clydesdale leg. We decided that that might be a possibility as well. I know it looks kind of funny. I'm going to bring it down a little bit further. I've got the clipper back on, so the reason that, so I'm going to do it like this so I don't suck up all this hair from the bottom. Uh, we'll pull it right up and pull it right up in. So that's how you lower stuff when you're using the clipper back as you grab the hair underneath. So it doesn't suck it up. Now we're getting some static. The idea would be to do this and this like you, like you would on a poodle. Do it from here and just leave all that way down. That could be another thing you could do. It might be my preference, but it might be kind of fun. It might be a cool option. 